We're going to start this mix with a little bit of controversy that is brewing overseas in Spain because uh, this bullfighter, Francisco Rivera uh, Ordonez, uh, he put up this picture. And can you see what's in his left arm there? Is that a really a baby? That is really a baby. His five-month-old daughter's in his left arm. And when he posted it to his Instagram, a lot of people were like, um, what the hell? And we're sure that she wasn't Photoshopped. This is the baby. He wasn't really? Photoshopped. This is him during a practice run <gasps> bullfighting there. And oh, my God. Blood on the bull there. So a lot of people are upset by this. A lot of people commenting about this. But Francisco then posting another photo showing oh. this is a family tradition. He is a fifth generator, generation um, bullfighter. And that's him on the left with his dad doing it. He says it's perfectly safe. It's not during a real bullfighting mm -hmm. uh, match or whatever. But it's just a practice. I, I bet you anything, Mama was out for the day when this photo was taken. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Put money on that one. Yep. Well, you know, crabs, I, I feel bad for them. Crabs, lobsters, you throw them into the pot, they don't get a chance to fight back, really. It's so good, though. In Brazil, one crab fought back. Ooh. Look at this. This is an actual knife. And it's a restaurant in Brazil that shows this knife wielding. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're gonna head into the shower any second now. Oh man, you but gotta a, give him props. Other people who saw this photo were, were quipping that apparently he was just protecting himself from the dangers of Brazil. Yeah. Where gang and drug violence remains a problem. <laughs> That's what some people were saying. We've taken it to that level? We've taken it to that level. People very amused by all this, saying that he's uh, stabbing fish and stealing pearls because he's always high on that seaweed. All right, the things that they come up with for that crab. I hope the crab did survive, by yeah. the way. So this was really cute. You know, a lot of families have their tradition of, you know, they put their kids to bed and they pray with their kids mm -hmm. at night. So this is South Carolina family, very cute here. So these parents, mind you, they rush their kid to bed Sunday, uh, Sunday night because they wanted to see the end of the Carolina Panthers oh, game. Oh, yes. Uh, and then they started hearing noises from the baby monitor. Okay. I think you all my babies, and I don't want to bake these and sackcloth. It was their two year old daughter praying. That's precious. It is. See, kids like routine. Like you brush your teeth, you mm -hmm. say your prayers, you read a storybook, you go to bed. Uh -huh. You take them out of that. You wet your bed. You know? <laughs> What a beautiful family and what a sweet, yeah, sweet, sweet baby. Very cute. Yeah. And luckily for them, the Panthers are making it to the Super Bowl. See, maybe she prayed for them. Yes. Made it work. Quite possibly. That's right. news for this half hour, folks. More news coming up.